The question is that why you were scared to speak in English? One thing, please share and let me know. Hello friends, welcome to Hello English. My name is Rupam. In today's video, we will see how to start speaking in English for beginners. How to speak English fluently. I'm sure you are struggling to speak fluent English. So I have come up with this wonderful video. In this video, you will see if you are a beginner or an intermediate, how you can start learning English and become fluent very fast. So watch this video till the end. My dear friends, when I started learning English, I had one thing in my mind. If I start learning more and more words, if I am able to remember more vocabulary in my mind, I'll be able to speak English fluently. But in practical life, that doesn't happen. You can remember many words as much as you can, but it is not necessary that you will be able to use that word whenever you need. That doesn't happen like that. So the problem what I faced, you know, the problem was whenever I needed to speak to someone, I was unable to find proper sentences. My mind used to go blank, but I never gave up. I kept studying. I kept myself busy with English and see here I am today teaching English to all of you. So today I'm going to tell you the same thing which you can apply and become expert in English. Many of my subscriber friend they ask me, can I learn English by watching Hindi channel? Mere dost, agar aapko Hindi sikhna hai, you can watch Hindi channel and learn Hindi. But agar aapko English sikhna hai, how you will learn English without watching English videos. So I would always request you to go for English videos instead of Hindi videos. English. So first, let's understand how to improve sentence formation skills. Because once you can form sentences in your mind, it gets easy for you to speak in English. The first thing what you need to do, you have to improve vocabulary. Okay, when I say you have to improve vocabulary, it's not that you have to keep memorizing new words. No, learn one or two words in a day. Get the meaning of that word. Try to find sentence. Try to make sentence of your own. Got it? So how you can improve your vocabulary? The first thing is that you need to take care of the very method. We always use the word very. Many times we use. So we have to stop using this word very. Very good. Very sad. Very happy. Very beautiful. Instead, try to use something different. For example, instead of saying I am very sad, you can say I am sorrowful. Or the lady is very nice. You can say the lady is kind. I am sharing with you few words which you can replace by the word very. Got it? Try to master this. The next, Word Power Made Easy. This is a wonderful book, my dear friend. Reading this book helped me to improve my vocabulary. So I would always request you, if possible, try to buy the book. I'll give the link in the description. This is of great benefit. Next, be curious to learn. It is not necessary that you learn new words only from books. There are different sources which can help you to learn new words. Suppose you are going somewhere, you find a board, okay, ad advertisement boards, something is written. You don't know that word, note it down. If you don't have a notebook, you have a mobile. Just take a photo of that, you know, and at the end of the day, try to learn that word. Or if you are talking to someone, that person has used some new word. Okay, keep that, try to keep that word in your mind and later try to see what does that word mean. Newspaper, you come across so many new words. Try to understand what word is that, what's the meaning of that. So always try to be curious, try to learn more and more and never ignore any new words. Just try to learn them and use them and that will help you to improve your sentence formation skills. Hence it is important to form sentences. To form sentences now, you need to remember two important things. The first one, consume English. If you want to learn English faster, you need to find out a way which you like to do the most. If you like to read newspaper, read newspaper every day. See how the sentence are structured there. If you want to watch YouTube channel, watch the video very carefully. See how they are forming sentences. Listen to podcast. If you get time, just go through some lyrics of a song. Learning lyrics of song is a great way to learn English. Play a song like Summer of 69. 
an amazing song. You will remember so many things from that song. Finally, you need to practice English. If you want to be good in English, you need to speak English a lot. The only way to practice English is to keep speaking in English. Try finding out people who is good in English. Keep speaking with them. If you don't find anyone, you are the master. You can start speaking by yourself. Stand in front of the mirror or just record yourself and keep speaking. Judge yourself. Give feedback. And if you are not happy with your performance, Try again, try again. This will help you to improve your speaking. Your fluency will reach the next higher level. Believe me this, my dear friend. Let me ask you one question. I'm sure you will respond to me. The question is that why you were scared to speak in English? One thing, please share and let me know. Okay, I will see you again. Thank you so much.